In this video, we will illustrate how to use a GPIB to Ethernet controller to interface a PC with the GPIB port of an instrument. There are several ways to do this, this is just our approach, which we find quite stable and less prone to malfunctions. First, you need to configure the Ethernet adapter on your PC with the correct settings. I am using a USB to Ethernet adapter, which is a cheap but effective way to get a dedicated Ethernet port for instrumentation control. You need to go into the adapter settings, turn off IPv6, and make sure IPv4 is turned on. Then set a static IP address for the adapter. Here I have chosen 192.168.1.1. You can verify that your settings are correct by opening a command prompt in Windows and typing, ping, 192.168.1.1. If you receive a quick response like this, then you're all set. If you get a message like request timed out, you need to go back and check your settings. The next step is to connect our Prologix GPIB Ethernet controller to a 12 volts DC power supply and then to an Ethernet cable. The other end of the cable is connected to the PC's Ethernet adapter. Lastly, we need to connect the controller to the instrument's GPIB port. Now we are ready to set up our GPIB controller. Under Resources on the Prologix website, click on NetFinder. Then run the executable file. Click on Search and the controller should appear on the list. Click on the sign, IP and set a static IP address, here I have chosen 192.168.1.100. The settings of the controller should now appear on the list on a green background, indicating that it's operating correctly. To double check this, open a Windows command prompt and type, ping, 192.168.1.100, you should get a response similar to the one shown here. Next, we want to set the GPIB address of the controller to match that of the instrument it is connected to. To do this, download and install the Prologix GPIB configurator from the Prologix website. Once you run the program, you'll see a window where the controller should already appear. To set the GPIB address, we first need to have a look at the instrument and see what it is set to. 20 in this case. Then type this value in the GPIB address box and click on refresh. To check that we have successfully connected to the instrument we can type an IDN query in the terminal box and check that the instrument sends us back its identifier. Next, we need to get a visa address for the instrument and we can do this with the Keysight Connection Expert. You can download this for free from the Keysight website. Click on Add, and then LAN Interface. Now click on the three dots for that interface and select Add Instrument. Here you need to type the IP address of the controller and, importantly you need to select socket and assign it the value 1234. The instrument should now appear under the LAN interface that you created. Now right click on it, and select send commands to this instrument. Type in the IDN command with the syntax shown and then click on send and read. You should get a string as a response with the manufacturer and model of your instrument. Now that we have verified that the instrument is connected correctly within Connection Expert, we can copy its visa address and use this in Python or MATLAB. You will no longer need any of the programs that you've used to set up the controller. You will be able to change everything programmatically, including the GPIB of the instrument that you wish to connect to. Let's have a quick go at interacting with the instrument using the MATLAB Instrument Control Toolbox. We open TM Tool. Right click on interface object and create a new one using the visa address that we've copied. Then we click on connect and send a query using the IDN command again. We should get the same response as we got in the connection expert software. We can now get the code that we would need to use in a MATLAB script to connect to the instrument.